What's going on YouTube? This is Daybreak here coming back at you guys with another figure review. Today I'm reviewing something a little different and it is actually the Krang from the hit TV show from Nickelodeon, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Now as you guys can clearly see here we have just the standard packaging when it comes to the Playmates Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles line. You have the four turtles here, you have the Krang and all these like bright green, bright yellow, and the purple background. It's pretty cool. I love the sewer and just the look of this package. It just looks great. I like the backdrop. Everything is great about this. On the back, we have an awesome picture of the Krang with his little droid thing here. Um, looks pretty creepy. But anyways, if you guys want a close-up and if you guys want to read that, by all means, pause it now and... There you go. Now on the bottom, you have some of the other figures you can get in this line. Now yes, this is an older figure, so keep that in mind. Uh, why did I pick up this figure? It's because it was an impulse buy, to be honest. Uh, I bought the Rebel Tech Turtles and I was taking pictures with them and I was like, you know what? They really need some bad guys, so I bought three of these guys. So guys, stick around, stay tuned, I will be right back. I'm going to get this guy out of package and we'll see what this guy has to offer. Stick around guys, I'll be right back. And we are back. We have one of the Krangs out of packaging and yeah, he is a terrible figure, unfortunately. Now. I was very stupid when I picked up this guy. Um, I Like I said, I picked up three of these guys. And when I first got had him in package, I didn't realize his he didn't have any joints. When you look at the packaging itself, like for example, this is the third one. I've opened two now and yeah, I'm really disappointed. So I'm not opening this one because I don't know if I'm going to be holding on to this guy. Anyways, when you look at this guy from inside packaging, the bottom here is all covered up so you can't see anything there. I mean, you can try to look over here, but that doesn't really show you much. Um, the knees, you can't tell if they have a joint or not. It looks like they had joints, uh, but it doesn't. Take a close look here, guys. Oh, this is still in the picture. No knee joint whatsoever, so this is a very, this is just a staction piece. His feet, it's on, like, all of his weight is being supported by his toes here. So, if you try to get this guy to stand, it's going to be a pain. It's really, it really is. It's a balancing act, pretty much. You have to kind of move his arms, move this other arm, and hopefully find a sweet spot where this crank can pretty much stand. Uh, he doesn't have any articulation in the feet, no diaphragm joint, nothing up on top. He does have a ball joint right here for the shoulders, no joint at the elbow, no joint at the wrist, the head is on a ball joint, and yeah, that's all you get when it comes to articulation. The two accessories that he comes with is this piece right here, this gun, and you get another gun. But the problem with these is this. His hands are made out of a very, very soft plastic. It's so soft that this piece, look at this. This is a huge handle for this guy to hold on to. So anytime you put it on, the next day, when I come in, it just falls like this, and it's like this, and it drives me crazy. Maybe it's just my figure, but I, yeah, I really don't like that, and that's why I don't have this gun on him. Now, the Krang here, you can pull this guy out. He's like a little rubbery, pliable material piece. Uh, the face is okay. It looks pretty cool. And uh, yeah, this, um, while we're on it, the paint job on this guy is nice. I really like the wash that they put here to make it look all like like worn down. And like you see the shiny bits and you see the dull bits. And it's pretty cool. I like the color scheme that they use. But man, oh man, why the hell did they do this? I mean, I don't know. Playmates, what were you thinking? I really don't get it. The back of this figure looks pretty cool. I really like how that looks. But 
Man, give us some articulation for Pete's sake. Now, like I said, I, I was really dumb. I shouldn't have opened two. I should have opened one and have taken a look at it and uh, saw if I really like this figure or not, but I didn't. So now I have two Krangs open uh, and I'm putting them in my display and uh, yeah, they kind of suck. Uh, every time I walk by my uh, Detoff with the turtles and these guys, they cl they fall over like it's their job. Um, maybe if I put a little bit of like that uh, tape, the sticky tape or sticky tack, I should say, maybe that will be better. I don't know, but I should have looked on YouTube to watch a review on the guy before I actually pick this guy up because I am super disappointed. Uh, will I be picking up another Krang figure? Absolutely not. This is a pass. Now, guys, if you guys are into the hit TV series, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles from the Nickelodeon line, then this might be... Oh, sorry. This might be a figure for you. Especially if you're like a in-box, mint on-car collector, where you're just going to have this in uh, this packaging here. That would be pretty cool. But if you're an adult collector wanting to do some ACBA with this guy or just have him displayed with your Revel Tech Turtles or whatnot. Uh, I think this is a pass, unfortunately. Now, unfortunately, and I'm saying unfortunately three times now, but yeah, it's, it's really crappy the fact that we don't have any other version of the Krang. So if you really want the Krang in your display, then these are the guys you're going to have to go with. So unfortunately, that's the case. But yeah, that's my review, guys, on the Krang. Um, if you guys are buying this for like your little nephew or cousin who just wants to bash the figures and just play with them, like crash, like crash them into each other, then I guess this is a okay figure. But yeah, other than that, I don't like this at all. So unfortunately, I wish I could have given you better news, but this is a pass. All right, guys, thanks for watching. This is Daybreak 748, and I'm signing out. Peace out, guys.